Keith Haas with Viserys. I'm the public health specialist for the South Texas region. I'm here with Tim from the city of Freeport and we're doing a product demo with a London Fog 910 with GPS flow control. One of the things that I'm stressing with the pump box is we have this switch here controls flow control. So we have fixed flow or GPS. And the nice thing about this unit too is because most of the, the wiring, the switches are done in the hand controller, the box is not cluttered with a lot of wiring. And the advantage of not having a cluttered control box is if you have any pesticide leakage in the control box with a corrosive product, you're not gonna short out the wiring system and it's easier to work on. This is the pressure. Typically, we'll run this machine around 3.25 to 3.5 PSI. Here is about where we're gonna set it up. What I'll do on the final adjustment, depending on the drops uh, that are produced, the droplet spectrum, will either decrease or lower the pressure. But the nice thing about it, it, you notice that the motor wasn't running at a very high RPM. That's, you don't really need a very high RPM to get the droplet spectrum um, that's desirable to kill mosquitoes. So the cool thing about this is if you're not spending a, a lot more money on a motor that's just gonna be running at low idle, to, yeah, low idle basically. The air filter, this one is cloth. They, they have cloth or metal. Uh, the cloth ones you have to change or you can blow out. The metal ones you can just rinse with, okay. with uh, water, soap and water. Is that the flush tank here? That's the flush tank. And we do sell a flushing solution. But the cool thing about using the flushing solution is the inside of the atomizer uh, here right. won't collect dirt. This, these are all aluminum parts, so they're non-corrosive, but they will build up uh, dirt and debris. But if you flush, you won't have to worry about that. The filter, this is a maintenance item that uh, typically, this is something that we recommend changing, or at least cleaning out once a quarter. With this setup, you simply take um, carburetor cleaner, is acetone, and just clean the screen. Okay. Um, and it's it's good to do this, especially, um, since you got spray a fair amount, yes, sir. at least once a quarter. But definitely at the beginning of the season, you'll want to um, make sure that's clean before you start the season. So my next step is flow calibration. So what I'm gonna do is collect the amount of product that this machine puts out in a minute. And for this machine, our goal is 18.63 ounces per minute. And I have a timer, PPE, and my containers to measure fluid ounces per minute. I'm Chris Walker, I'm an outside sales rep. I came here with Keith today to demo and calibrate the London Fog 910. Part of the value added with Viserys is you can have a technical specialist for your account as well as a sales rep to give you the best possible service. All right, so Keith, uh, how long does a ULV machine like this normally last? Typically these machines, if you follow the maintenance manual, they'll last 10 to 20 years easily. Okay. Wow, that's a long time. So it's really good to go with a premium machine and really get the best return on your investment for that. That's awesome. 
So just this London Fog, like this is made in the USA. It's a 910, right? Yes, sir. Awesome, yes. yeah. So made in the USA, if that's important to anyone. What would the benefit be of ordering this machine through Viserys instead of another distributor or online even? So ordering through Viserys, we do have service after the sale. We have a 24-hour tech line. Typically, a customer can call us up ask us questions after hours about simple things on, on the machine maintenance. Uh, if the machine does have a, a maintenance issue and it's not spraying, a service technician can come out to the field, typically fix that within a couple hours. Um, and then we also, in some markets, we have loaner equipment that uh, customers can use when, uh, especially this was beneficial during the shortages, when it took three to four months to get parts, uh, the loaner equipment was able to help satisfy the needs for applying product, um, saving lives, um, and then the operations, our customers' operations didn't have to cease. So on this value added service, like why would you say that's really important? Well, a lot of times there'll be different maintenance issues. You'll have different applicators. Some applicators won't flush. And then sometimes if you don't flush, then you have pump maintenance issues. Uh, you could have a wiring, a loose wire, some, something like similar to a loose wire. The cool thing is I can come in, fix those usually within a few hours, and that, the unit is back on the road fogging again. Okay, so having somebody local for that support is yes. huge. Okay, right on. So uh, I know today we calibrated for droplet size and flow rate. Can you talk about why those are important? Okay, so flow rate, basically this machine, you set the flow rate, the maximum flow rate at 23 miles an hour because the flow is controlled by a GPS device. Okay. So we set that flow at a mid-range for control 4.4 and then droplet sizing, the label requires the droplets to be in a range between 10 and 30 VMD. So what we were trying to do is, is um, dial in the droplet size by using um, RPM and pressure. Um, we adjusted RPM and pressure on this machine to produce a droplet size between, operationally between 15 and 25 microns. Last question for you. Uh, what chemicals would you recommend using in this product? So in this machine, the two, pro the two easiest products to use are ready to use products with the brand Control and Permex 4.4. Uh, four. So those are the easiest products to use. They're, they're mixed. Uh, once the customer receives them, the customer just fills the formulation tank on the, on the fogger and they're ready to start fogging if the machine is calibrated and droplet sized. Cool, appreciate that, man. Thank you.